Well, today, Messy Suitcase is in El Yunque National Park. Uh, the visitor center seems to be closed for some construction work, so we don't have anyone to ask about uh, what to do, but uh, they do have this little uh, information uh, shelter, which is going to help us decide uh, where we're going to go. Well, they're in the process of redoing the visitor center here. Um, we were here, I don't know, about five years ago, and uh, the visitor center was really, really nice. And it's a shame that it's uh, closed. They're revitalizing it, but uh, you know, it should be should be super when they're finished. And, uh, it's, it's, it's actually uh, it's actually pretty good in that uh, it provides. It'll tell you the, how much time it takes some of these trails, where to go. Um, that's uh, probably the most informative uh, thing that we've we've seen here. So uh, we're going to have a little discussion, see what we're going to do today, and uh, we'll uh, check back in just a little bit. So we're driving up through El Yunque now. Supposedly, this place was devastated in the Hurricane Maria. It's uh, looking, I'm not sure how, what that, uh, what that meant, but it's, uh, It definitely it's, means that the visitor's portal was damaged and they're <laughs> fixing it. Yeah. And they set up a temporary one down at the bottom of the road, but we didn't know about it, so we're on our own. But look at how beautiful and how shady the way the trees cross above us and how lush it is. So this is the only tropical rainforest in the U.S. forest system. There's one other rainforest, I believe it's in the Pacific Northwest. Interesting that they don't have one in Hawaii. It is. But every day we've been here, we've seen clouds and uh, definitely rain over, over yeah. the forest. So the day we chose to come here hiking is the most beautiful day I've seen up here in the forest. But I suspect that in the afternoon, at least so far, it's going to rain. We packed our rain jackets anyway because you don't go to something that's called the rainforest. Not expecting rain. Exactly, and all of the trails descriptions warn of possible flash floods. So we're not just wearing sandals here. We have, you know, actual hiking gear on our feet. We're expecting muddy trails. We're here today at El Yunque National Forest, which is the only tropical rainforest in the U.S. Uh, national Park System. Oh, a bird just flew over. Ah, and um, we're hoping to do some hiking. We couldn't stop at the visitor center because it's still closed from Hurricane Maria and they're rebuilding it. But we found a wonderful app, which we're following the map of, to see a lot of the, the highlights, including back there. I don't know if you can see it, but we'll be stopping back there at that tower. There are 18 miles of hiking trails in El Yunque. No, excuse me, there are 24 miles of hiking trails and 18 miles of driving. And so this is La Coca Falls. Cascada, La Coca. The waters of La Coca drop 85 feet onto this huge rock formation at the bottom of the forest. Wow, the scenery here is just stunning. Looking out over the ocean, down through the forest. Unfortunately, we experienced this last time we were in Puerto Rico. There's some kind of a culture of leaving your trash laying around. And so, I will keep cleaning up everywhere we stop. Uh, this is uh, relatively high here, 1,500 feet. And we're gonna be... The tower's not 1,500 feet. But the uh, elevation is 1,500 feet.
Wednesday. We're hoping to go. I'm pretty sure the city of Columbia is going to be complaining massively. I mean, your credit card company. Why? Oh, because we saw it. Yeah, like look at this guy's five house here. Out of the airport. Yeah. We're at the Air Quebrada Juan Diego. Juan Diego Creek. Ah, this is probably the pool. That, the natural pool. The natural pool that. Uh, Another great place to cool off. Well, it's a little slippery and steep to get here, but this is uh, this is well worth it. Definitely come back here with my suit on. Going down is harder than coming up. <laughs> Lisa's hot. Woo, got my hat wet. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> and here in the middle of the rainforest, there's a snack bar. And uh, burgers, quesadillas, pizzas, of course the ever-present piña coladas. And uh, some heavy duty picnic shelters here. To the grill. Yeah, fireplace. Here they're trying to explain uh, all the damage that was done by the hurricanes Irma and Maria and uh, what's been repaired to date and what they still have to do. But uh, the damage here is just, uh, just sort of incredible. And here you can see you know, the, uh, the falls, falls we were just at. Yeah, the Baño Grande. Let's see what uh, is up here. The use of uh, Baño Grande here is uh, this big pool. Here it is, the Baño Grande. So this thing was created by uh, the CCC, my favorite group of people in the early 30s, and then operated as a public swimming pool uh, between 1936 and 1968. Still a lot of trails closed here, but uh, there's still some, there's some, some open. But there's... We also saw where they talked about how since so many things were damaged, like bridges and things for this main popular La Mina Trail, they're taking the opportunity to beef it up. This is a Baño de Oro. And what do you know about the Baño de Oro, Lisa? Well, the Baño de Oro was built by the CCC in a spot that Spaniards had uh, excavated for gold. One of the reasons the Spaniards settled in Puerto Rico is because there was gold in this river. Well, the Baño de Oro is uh, not as well maintained as uh, Baño Grande. And uh, we can see uh, this is it because here's a lifeguard stand. So we're going to take uh, a little hike here. Supposedly it's a 20 minute hike on the Angelito Trail. Verida. 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 Good idea. All right. A bamboo here. And here we are. The end of the Angelita Trail. It is like... This is the uh, Puente Rojo de Use area, another sort of swimming hole. And uh, every time I look at these swimming holes, it so reminds me of Vermont. And of course, people in Puerto Rico, just like Vermont, love to uh, form a little rock dam. See one here.
Well, today, <laughs> Messy Suitcase had planned to go uh, back to uh, Ojunke to uh, do a hike at the top. So we go to the tower and have a great view <laughs> and uh, possibly uh, go swimming in some of the uh, natural pools we saw last time. I'm not sure that's going to be a good idea because it looks like it's actually actual actively raining here on the top of uh, Oyunke. Storming. So, storming, yeah. So I don't know. I guess we're going to be stupid and uh, drive up there and uh, confirm for ourselves what we're actually seeing here, that it's raining, and uh, then probably turn around, come back, do something else today. <laughs> So today we're going on our first challenging hike of El Yunque, and we are ascending, um, what did it just say? 1.3 kilometers or 0.8 miles, 8 tenths of a mile up to Mount Britain Tower, which you can't see from here, but it looks like it's pretty much straight up. It should take us about an hour and a half. We're going to cross a couple mountain streams, and at the top we should have 360 degree views of everything 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 the hopefully sea. hopefully the clouds and the rain doesn't come in that's right so we're hoping not to ascend into a cloud forest but into a clear clear vision of beauty in every direction so oh. let's go Vamos. Oh, off we go i think this is the uh, destination of our hike today they say it's 45 minutes one way i don't know about that but that looks pretty darn steep getting up there <laughs> that's a different kind of trail here I guess uh, anything that wasn't hardened like this would just wash away a lot more maintenance than having this. Getting close to the top. We are. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. Yeah, we made it. I said 45. And they said 45, we did it in 27. I guess we still have the Torre to climb. Well, we made it to the top and the views are fantastic. Certainly well, well, well worth the trip and the effort here. Over in the distance here, we've got the San Juan. And let's see how much I can zoom in here. There we go. There's the very mine. Candado. Sides. This is uh, south of Fajardo. And uh, earlier we saw uh, the, uh, the east of, uh, west of Fajardo. Uh, so the hike is actually on a Park Service road. It's a little exposed here. All the rest of it was nice and cool you know, as we went through the, uh, the rainforest canopy, but out here it's exposed. But it's not too long. I don't know. It's, uh, couple hundred maybe 300 yards or so not bad good gives you a nice view Landing in the rain hop in get under that thing before it rains on us and we get wet Go back a little bit. One more step. It knocked me right over. 
Go back, go back. Just so much he has to do it again, of course. Such a beautiful place. enjoyed exploring El Yunque rainforest with us. We got to experience every kind of weather, explore trails, waterfalls, and mountaintops, see incredible views, and of course finish up with some pina coladas. But El Yunque is definitely worth a day or two of your next visit to Puerto Rico. So thanks for joining us, and thanks for visiting Messy Suitcase. Hasta luego! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Hasta luego.